Hello and welcome to another US Cutter video. In today's example, we're going to show you how easy it is to import an SVG file into Vinyl Master, and then we're going to follow that up by showing you how quickly you can create cut lines inside of Vinyl Master. If you've been using other design programs or vinyl cutters and want to bring those designs over to use with the SC350, saving or exporting the files as a .svg file is one of the quickest ways to do that. To start the process, the first thing we need to do is drag and drop the SVG file into the design space of the Vinyl Master program. This will then change your cursor into an empty box, and the shape and size of this box will be determined by the shape and size of your image. Left click your mouse to place down the image in whatever location you like. Don't worry, you will be able to freely edit the SVG file and reposition it inside of Vinyl Master as much as you want. If your SVG files didn't come with cut lines included, you can create them inside of Vinyl Master in a few different ways. Let's go ahead and start by showing you how Vinyl Master can automatically create your cut lines for you using the Create Cut Contour tool. You can have the program automatically create them for you by just selecting your image and then moving the cursor up to the apple located in the static toolbar. You will have two options to choose from here and we just want to select the top option, Create Cut Contour. This will then bring up the Create Cut Contour pop-up window. Inside of this we have the preview screen and we can adjust the cut line, type, and position over on the right side and then on the left side, the cut line is represented by the blue line shown right here. Let's talk about the outline options over on the right side a little more. You have several options of corner styles inside this drop down box, but the main tools that you will use for adjusting the cut line position are right below that with the outline percentage and the outline units. They both do the same thing, but they just use two different units of measurement. Once you're happy with the contour cut line that you created, just click accept and you will be taken to the design screen with the newly created cut line placed around your image. For this design, we are just going to copy the image and cut line and then paste it four more times to fill up the entire page. And then we're ready to put on the registration marks. To do this, we want to make sure that we don't have anything selected by clicking any place on the design screen that doesn't have an object on it. Follow this by moving the cursor back up top to the apple inside the static toolbar, but this time we want to select the bottom option, Contour Cut Wizard. Once selected, it will bring up the Contour Cutting Wizard pop-up. On the right side, you have the image preview, which is already showing the registration marks and a QR code on it. Over on the left side is where we can make all the changes to the settings with the print and cut. Starting from the top, you have the cutting device options. Here you can choose your cutting machine if you have multiple machines, and then over on the right is the button to take you to the vinyl spooler if needed. Below that, we have the option to choose manual contour cutting or automatic arms contour cutting. And we're going to leave it on automatic because that's what the SC350 is designed and built for. But over on the right, you can see that you have the QR code and also a number. They are both used as a way to identify the job and you can see them both in the image preview over on the right side. You can choose to add or remove the QR code. You will have to keep the registration marks, but the QR code and all those bonus features are totally optional. Below that, we have our printing device options. Selecting Print Direct will allow you to choose from any printer currently installed to your computer. Select from a list of your installed printers over on the right side, and then also adjust the printer properties from inside Vinyl Master. This method will only let you print out a single sheet each time, so if you're wanting to print multiple copies, selecting the Print PDF option will open the file as a PDF and then allow you to print from whatever PDF reader program that you have installed. Then 
Then the next two options below will allow you to save the file as an image or as a PDF file. And this allows you to transfer the file to a separate RIP program or a separate printer station. No matter what print option you have selected, you will need to click the print button to start the actual print or convert or save the file. Once you have completed printing, you will notice that the button that we just clicked now says cut. Clicking cut will open up the vinyl spooler with our job loaded inside and ready to go. You will also have the special sheet cutter module pop up. Here you can see the status of the machine and adjust some of the quantity settings and paper size settings as well. You will also notice that batch mode is checked in the bottom left corner by default and we want to leave that checked so that it cuts the entire batch and not just one at a time. For this example, we have 25 sheets printed out, but we're going to set the max quantity to 20 so that we can have five leftover sheets for a later job. Once we have the papers loaded in correctly to the SC350, we just need to click start and then you can see that the screen will update with the machine's progress. So if you're in a separate space, you can monitor its progress remotely. We'll show you all 20 of the sheets being cut that I have loaded inside of here, but after the first three or four, we're gonna speed it up to six times normal speed. That way we don't have a 10 minute video. And now it's six times the normal speed. And that's going to do it for this video. Remember, you can contact our sales and support team at the number and email addresses found here on the screen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and have yourself a wonderful day.